beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below along with my husband if you haven't yet check him out he is over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we will be pulling a final message from your angels now we feel like you have love on the brain beautiful soul and this love we feel like we feel like a part of you feels like you don't have the power whether it's somebody in your life you'd like to manifest a soulmate you know you'd like to have a partner to share your life with but a part of us feels like you feel powerless in this situation. You may even feel powerless around this particular person. You may have a person in mind and every time you're around them, it's like you're a different version of yourself. You're just like, what is happening? You know, I'm not even myself. I give my power away. I lose my power around this particular person. Uh, it's because you've created strong um, emotional ties uh, and energy cords with this particular uh, being and the words that you speak around them are... Um, uh, giving your energy away, whether you feel like you have to explain yourself around this person, whether you feel like you have to, um, you know, you're, 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 uh, reacting off your emotional state. Um, but either way, um, it's basically just because of what you've been telling yourself. Uh, and then, uh, whatever you tell yourself, you emotionally feel. So just some food for thought. Um, but for, for some of you, we can see here that the love that you're looking to attract into your life, Okay, the, the partnership, the unity, the, the communication, the romance, right? The upgrades, right? That's going to come from you putting attention into really what your heart wants, what your soul wants. And it's about focusing now on building that connection with your higher self, your high priestess self, your divine feminine self, okay? And really putting attention and focus into what energetically it is that you feel called and guided to do without worrying, okay? Without worrying about this person in your life or this person that you're desiring in your life. Because if you focus on something in your life that you do not have, you only magnify the not having, right? It's not like you attract it in by focusing on it or fearing it or giving your power away, right? So if you find yourself giving your power away around a particular person in your life, it is because you need to focus more upon what it is that you feel energetically satisfied around, okay? Um, pleased with yourself around, proud of yourself, okay? You need to focus on you being proud of yourself and then all of this will go. We feel like there, again, is some residual thinking that Six of Cups in reverse is nostalgic thinking from the past. So we feel like there are some thoughts around this particular person um, that have been built up over time, right? About putting, maybe putting them on a certain pedestal, particular pedestal, uh, or, put la or, or, or putting yourself down so frequently that anybody's on a pedestal, right? And that... That can't, we can't have that beautiful soul because you are incredible, all right? So what we want for you now is to really, really, really start to tune in to the whispers of your intuition. And this means really tuning into the subtle energies in your energy body, the seven chakra systems, okay? So what this is, is that you have, again, seven chakras up and down your spine and your energy, whenever you're feeling contracted or emotional or anything, will always relate to one of the chakras. So when you get used to uh, interpreting which chakra is being kinked or pinched or affected in some way energetically, you can kind of dissect a little bit more about how you're feeling and you can get to the root of where these conditions have been stemmed from, what beliefs you've been creating in your mind, all right? Getting a lot of rest is really important as well because the more that we rest, the more uh, intuitive we do feel, right? The more uh, power we have because we rest and then what happens is when we come from our rest, we're able to directly focus into those thoughts that we feel good about, right? So if you've been in a state of worrying or fearing, uh, uncertain about a particular uh, soulmate or person or, or, or relationship of any kind, if you spend your time worrying about something, again, you're going to expand the worry. You're going to practice worry. So every time you worry about something, you're practicing living the life of worry. Every time you deliberately focus your thought consciously into abundant thoughts, 
that's when you start to practice being the deliberate conscious creator. Okay. And it's a practice because if we're used to spending our life worrying, that's going to be the practice thought, the practice habit of thinking something new shows up. Let's worry about it. Right. But we want to just remind you that life is truly a mystery. And even though we don't have the logical analytical concepts and, and structures for every single thing, we just want you to have faith. Have faith in your ability to trust yourself. Have faith in those subtle nudges, okay? Because these subtle nudges that run up and through your body, this is what your soul, this is your soul. This is your higher self guiding you. A lot of the times we want to know what is, what is my higher self? What does that feel like? It's a subtle energy that leads you to saying, hey, make this choice and not the same one that you're used to making. But again, unless we are giving our time uh, rest and refocus, right? then we're not going to be able to clearly read these subtle energies. We're going to get really caught up in the familiar, right? The familiar past, what we're just used to doing all the time. And because we have all this emotion and energy running through our bodies, we're unable to sense the guidance from the universe. So the name of the game is to be in that calm, receptive, grounded state so that you are able to bring your beautiful ideas to life confidently, knowing that this is the choice that I make deliberately because this is who I am. Let your life's experiences guide you, Leo. Never feel like you have to be the one to figure it out. That's never how it works here. And every time we do try to figure it out, that's exactly when we start efforting and forcing things. And when we effort and when we force things, we again take ourselves out of the conscious creator observer being that we are and we become the regurgitator or the dictator or the controller, right? So we really can't control anything. And when it comes to relationships specifically, right? Specifically, the only way to really have a relationship that is flourishing, that is nourished, that is, that is balanced, right? Is to have a healthy, balanced relationship with yourself first and know who you are and know what you want. And even if you don't know what you want, it's okay. At least understand the communication with yourself so that even if you don't know what you want, you're okay with saying, you know what? I'm not quite sure yet, but I know it's coming. I know the clarity will be there. I'm going to let this go for now. And then when you're around somebody that you might feel like takes your power away and whether this is a romance, romantic endeavor, whether this is, uh, um, uh, plutonic or, or even whether this is just a life changing opportunity in your life that's, that that's happening right now. And it's taking your power away. Cause any of those are, are present here, right? This is a general reading. Let's be honest. Right? So at the end of the day, whatever you feel is taking your power away, whether it's a new career or a person or what have you, either way, the blueprint is always going to be the same. And that is to disconnect from the thinking mind, disconnect from the emotional body, and reclaim your independence. And that means you're going to have to spend time with yourself. It means you're going to have to bond with yourself, connect with yourself. Again, it's a practice. So be, be easy with yourself, but either way, do know, do know that wherever you're, whatever you're going through right now, whatever challenge you are going through right now, this is the upgrade your soul has asked for, right? This is the upgrade and you're being guided into your calling. You're being guided right into a new path full of excitement and inspiration that Knight of wands, right? That's a new beginning. And it's full of excitement and adventure, right? And really a lot of passion with that wand's energy. It's a lot of passion. So you're going to be introduced to a calling of yours or something that just resonates that ding, ding, ding. Oh, it's a hell yes moment, right? Puzzle pieces fit together and it just all feels really good. So that's, what's coming forward for you. What we want you to do is really be open and receptive right now. And that's why we encourage you to begin be the observer. And we also want you to practice thinking thoughts and saying words that are also in that receivable allowance mode. So write this down in the comments below. I welcome money into my life. I welcome money into my life. Write this down for yourself, Leo. I welcome money into my life. This is what it is to allow. I welcome money. I allow for money. I allow for love. I welcome love, right? As a matter of fact, I welcome love. You know, it's really easy. It's really light. You're desiring it. Not like, when's it going to be here? Is this going to work? I don't know. Forget about all of that. It's only going to take away your creativity. Speaking of creativity, here we have creative project from your angels. We're going to hold up this card. It's feeling really resonant right now. Your angels are saying your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Passion, right? Passion towards your calling, passion towards your endeavors, passion towards what you want to do in life. This all comes when you really prioritize focusing your attention, your beautiful energy into words that feel good for you, right? That positive, those positive affirmations, getting enough rest, 
reconnecting to your spirit, reconnecting to your divine self. This is what's necessary right now. Okay. You have opportunities always around you, whether this comes in the form of love or again of that career choice, but either way, this, uh, life journey that you're on is only going to feel fulfilling when again, you are feeling inspired. You are feeling like you are the creator, you know? So just remember anytime you don't feel like you are the creator and things are working against you, right? There's, there's, there's a lot of resistance. Step back for a minute, right? Take some rest, meditate, um, and, 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 and remind yourself, I am the observer. And through my life's experiences, I observe and I deliberately create the life that I choose. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.